Hello, today I want to share with you my spring clean and daily cleaning routine. So because I'm doing some elements of spring cleaning, I'm gonna start by taking down the netting of the curtains. The curtains are actually clean, but I'm just gonna take the nettings down and wash those. I'm just using my regular Tesco non-bio to wash along with the matching Tesco fabric conditioner just because I really like how this smells and I'm just going to put it on a gentle cycle and a gentle temperature. Next I'm going to move on to the bedroom. I like to open all of the windows though it is particularly cold today just because the flat gets really humid and it's just good to get that fresh air in especially for spring. So I'm just making up the bed, dusting off any crumbs I come across and neatening everything up. Look, I'm putting the breakfast pillows where they go, at the back. So I'm just making everything up. I would definitely like to starch my pillows just to get them really nice and smooth. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. So I'm just going in with the Pledge multi-surface cleaner and wiping down the bed frame and my bedside table. And this is what my bedding looks like, all freshly made. So now I'm moving on to the vanity and the chest of drawers, just wiping and dusting all of that down, including all of the little fingerprints that you get around the front of the drawers. I'm just taking everything off of my vanity and dusting that down along with the mirror as well. I kind of work in a U shape, so now I'm working on Alex's bedside table, buffing all of that down, and our full length mirror, which is from B&M Home by the way, really neatly tucks into our small space. So I'm just buffing that down and dusting it down, and then removing all of the fingerprints that I come across on our sliding wardrobe. Then I move into the bathroom and the first thing for me is to take out a load of washing to work on. I'm pretty much doing a load of washing every other day. Then I'm going to do my typical thing. As I mentioned, I can't really go a day without dusting because it builds up so quickly in the flat. I don't know if that's to do with the humidity. And in the bathroom, I like to use Aldi's number four diffuser, the luxury diffuser, 399, just like the Jo Malone ones. They smell fantastic. And here I'm just filling up my tumbler. This is from Ikea. I really like to keep my cotton rounds and cotton buds in there. And then I'm just working on the rest of the ladder shelf and surfaces and dusting all of that down. Then I'm just going to neaten up the towel, just placing it back a little bit tidier. It's a really small rack, so I'm just doing the best I can. I don't clean the shower every day, that's a weekly thing, but I do squeegee it down to get rid of any watermarks, if there are any, and I like to use the daily shower spray every day if I can remember to, just because it smells great and it also stops the um, lime scale and watermarks from building up. I have to clean the toilet every day, much for a similar reason. We live in a hard water area. The flat doesn't have a water softener, so I have to make sure I'm cleaning it so that all of that hard water doesn't build up. I'm just using the Method Daily Cleanser and the Dettol Antibacterial Wipes because they're disposable. So I just use a bunch of wipes from top to bottom just to make sure everything's nice and sparkling clean before working on the toilet bowl. Please come back now baby where were we? Said you changed and a lot got the memories. Same thing with the sink, I use the method bathroom cleaner, just spray that all down. 
And then I like to use my mesh microfiber cloth. I use the mesh side to help scrub down, get rid of any watermarks or anything like that. And then I'll use the microfiber side just to wipe it all down again. Then I go in with a clean microfiber towel just to buff down the tap so it's nice and shiny and smear free. And I do pretty much the same thing on the little shelf where we keep our toothbrushes and shavers. I just work on that and on the mirror I'm using the Pledge multi-surface just to get all of the fingerprints again and little toothpaste marks. Next I'm going into the kitchen, look outside, doesn't look like spring at all, it's snowing again. So I like to wash up the breakfast dishes just because Alex usually makes us breakfast. Just using the Tesco's antibacterial washing up liquid. Just out of preference, because I don't have a dishwasher, I like to pour hot water over our dishes. Again, I don't know if it's the hard water, but I just feel like it gets it extra fresh. Now this, Zaflora, especially in Bluebell Woods, this is where my spring starts. It smells amazing. So if you're looking for a new fragrance and just a general house cleaner, this is perfect. Just pour a capful into your tub or a spray bottle dilute it with some water and I'm just taking my microfiber cloth again just a different color one for the kitchen wring that out and I'm going to use that to wipe down all of the surfaces this stuff smells incredible it just smells like you're strolling through a forest and the flora does loads of different fragrances but also it kills bacteria so it's perfect for all around the house but I love it for the kitchen just making sure I get in and around the microwave and then of course I'm going to do the same thing on our little dining table taking everything off and using that Zaflora solution and my microfiber cloth to disinfect the table but I'm also making sure I wipe down the chair legs since it is spring and we're starting on our spring cleaning we're just getting all the little nooks and crannies and now I'm laying down this table runner which is from Ikea before putting everything down again just so it all matches, ties in together and we're getting more into that spring vibe. Then I'm going in with Methods Daily Kitchen. I'm going to use this on the extractor fan. Again, we are just getting those areas that we don't typically get now that it's spring. So I'm just spraying that down because that is going to get rid of all the grease and also dust it for me. Now, because it's a daily clean for me, I'm just sweeping the kitchen and sweeping the flat. I'm not gonna do a huge hoover. This is my hallway, nothing special. I don't know whether to make it special, but I'm again just sweeping all of that down, especially because it's a high traffic area, making sure I move the shoe rack. Then I'm gonna go in with these antibacterial floor wipes. I'm not doing a mop, but I would like to just get rid of all of the footprints, especially as it's been raining and snowing. There's been a lot of that in the house. In the living room, I'm just going to work on the coffee table using my multi-surface spray again because it works on everything. I'm also doing the same working on the telly, but I'm just giving it a general once over, not like a detailed clean. Just patting down the cushions, getting rid of any dust. So why didn't you, why didn't you... I do try and fluff my sofa cushions every day if I can remember. Just take your energy out on it. Now because again we are starting our spring clean, I'm moving the sofa because there is all sorts back there. See I've just picked up a sock and I am going to give just behind the sofa a hoover but I'm not going to hoover the entire flat. 
and I'm also just going to use a floor wipe just on the area because again by the back door there's a lot of traffic there. Once I'm done I'm just going to give the living room a sweep. I like to use the luxury room spray in the living room. I have the diffuser, but just to bring about the fragrance, especially again, now it's spring, we just want everything to smell super fresh. And for my last final touch, I picked up these daffodils, especially because it's Easter time. So I'm just prepping those. They were only 95 pence from Aldi. And then I'm putting them in this vase that I got from a charity shop for 70 pence. There. Now I see you through the window when I'm walking on air, but I won't let you know. I'm just popping that as a centerpiece in the living room, and it's going to look so beautiful and springy once they finally bloom. So that is my daily cleaning routine alongside a few spring cleaning touches. Thanks so much for watching. See you on the next one. Bye. Please come back now, baby.